sleep with Chicho. Who is that bad for? Why why is that bad for citizens of Canada if the laundry money wouldn't that increase the owner's property value? Yeah, but what's going to happen is it, it, I'll give you two examples of why it's bad. First of all, property value goes up, taxes go up. There's been a lot of people in Canada, especially the elderly, that haven't been able to afford the taxes of the of their property they have because they didn't account for their property going up like five times or ten times where all of a sudden their taxes have gone up that much right so there's a lot of l older people senior citizens that have had to sell their homes that they plan on retiring in okay dying in that they've been living in for a long time because they couldn't afford the taxes right they had to go into debt to be able to pay the taxes the other problem is new home buyers right the youth can't compete with this they can't buy houses because international funds are coming in are outbidding the the youth that are thinking about setting roots in a community and raising a family or just setting roots and being there as single individuals or partners or whatever they are as a community right so they haven't been able to buy homes right so they become a surf uh surf them right they don't own property they're renting property another problem is salaries of workers have not increased relative to the price of property right so price of property a house in the last 10 years in canada has gone up let's say five times well wages haven't gone up five times so those people that are making certain wages they can't afford to buy the property right it's screwing over and it's destroying communities uh, uh and uh, in vancouver there was a huge way where a lot of restaurants that have been there for a long time had to close their doors because the taxes went through the roof because the city reimagined the taxes and they weren't taxing the the people based on what was there right the building that was there what the business that was there they were taxing that piece of property based on what could be there just imagine right they're taxing that property based on what could be there so let's assume there was a piece of real estate that only had one story building on it right and there was one business there right so that business is making whatever it's making right and it's getting taxed whatever is being taxed right the city came along and said oh that property you could have a 10-story building on there and there should be 10 businesses on there of the same type so we're going to tax you 10 times what this is being taxed oh shit. what oh crap closing doors right we're out there's so much bad about this is unbelievable not to mention all of that money international money is, that is coming into canada being laundered through the laundered through the real estate where is that money coming from right who has been getting hurt uh like what, what is it like people people were really pissed off about blood diamonds but they're not pissed off about blood money right saudi money coming in into canada to buy real estate to park their money here why are we allowing that saudi money that is being made by butchering yemenis starving a whole country and waging war why are we allowing that right it's it's despicable what centralized power does it's despicable 